Hey there, John for Propeller, gonna walk you through our Earthworks progress tool today. On this project, I'm gonna turn on the boundary file so that we can stay within the confines of our project, right click on that and convert to measurement. I'm gonna select the Earthworks progress tool and hit convert. So I'm gonna take the boundary and create a calculation template for us. We'll turn that on and we're gonna take this very first survey and we're gonna compare it to the previous survey. So this is basically looking at how much material have we moved on or off the project, where the work has taken place, and all of that available for you here within the platform. Uh, so on the right side of the map, you see the areas of red, that's the area where they've cut down material, areas of blue where they've filled in material, and then on the left side is our total volume moved. So 83,000 cubes moved, cut 51,000, they've filled in 32, they've exported off. 19,000 cubic yards. So it's a great opportunity to use this for billing purposes, uh, to send out as a PO, to put for verification of work that's been done. Now that's the first option. The second tool that we have available for you in this platform is then to see what you have remaining against that grading plan. So in this drop down, we'll do the compare to surface and we're gonna compare to our final grading plan. Now this can be of the final grade, your subgrades, give me any different strata of material on project. And then we'll click on that and we'll see the heat map change within the boundaries. And we can see where we are on grade, where there is basically no color. So as I zoom in, you'll see that that area that I'm looking at here is basically no color at all. So we can see the bare ground there showing that we are within a 10th of foot or, or better. And then areas of fill and cut, where you can see that there in blue and in red. Now the last part of this tool is we actually have a chart that comes in. So if we'll compare this, uh, the entire duration of our project against that grading plan, and it's showing you the volume and the net difference as we move further and further along that project. So if I move my picture up here, you'll be able to see where our net is in relation to the remaining part of the project. So a full life cycle of earth that's been moved dur during the duration of that project. Each of these heat maps can be customized with different values as well as different colors. So if we want to get a bit more detail in the work on this project, uh, we could add colors. So what that's doing is adding new classes of value that you can then adjust to uh, your specific needs. So if we only say, I don't really care about anything that's a tenth, I want to look at everything that's just two tenths away, it's going to adjust that ramp. And you can use adjust, adjust those different colors. So if we want to say anything that's two tenths, uh, I want to make that that orange color, we could adjust that here. So anything that's above half a foot uh, on either direction will be colorized with a different color. So we can really ramp this up, make this a bit more um, detailed, really make it stand out. Once you get those values figured in, you just hit apply. We will redo the color map over here on the, uh, the heat map on the right side. And we're gonna get that clearer detail uh, of that work that's been, that needs to be remaining. Additionally, you can adjust the transparency of this uh, colorization. So you can make it more transparent or make it really dark. And then we can see that right on top of the survey. So this is just a great way to track your remaining earthwork and keep track of that progress with the duration of the project. Uh, this can also be shared out as a PDF report, but this is what you would be able to use to maintain the efficiencies of your team, as well as see what you have remaining to remain on schedule.